All right, guys, today we're gonna go over the calibration process for the FreeScan Combo. Now, this is a metrology grade scanner, meaning 0.02 millimeter accuracy, and that means it's got a little bit different process from the other EinScan products that we carry on visionminer.com, by the way in stock, ready to ship today, and these are by far the best scanner that we have. It's awesome. So, we're gonna get into the calibration, which is really simple. It comes in this awesome hard case here, and then underneath, you just pull out the foam, which holds all the scanner stuff, and then underneath that whole thing, you get this beautiful calibration board. It's a super, super simple process. This will take about three minutes. So the calibration board comes with instructions on it and everything. So you open it, you place it on a level surface, you do your thing, and then you put it away. That's it. That's all there is to it. So we're just going to open it up and remove the inner protection here. That just keeps both sides from touching because these are actual markers on this board. It's a little bit different of a process. So I'm just going to open up the software right here, and I'm going to go back to the calibration right here let it initialize, and then it shows me the actual calibration board. So I'm gonna look at this. It's got an L and an R in the top left and top right. So I'm gonna place those at the top, and then I'm gonna take the scanner and I'm going to just press the button to calibrate. And I'm gonna hold it on the left side, just like it shows me. And then I'm gonna match the tilts and then I'm gonna go down. Boom, that side is done. Now I'm gonna do it in the center. I'm just gonna go all the way down. Now it's cool because it's showing me, if I go left and right and up and down, that's actually showing me the center of where it's sitting. So they make it pretty easy uh, and I keep my tilt. So now I'm tilting it at a 45-ish this direction, I have to hold it over. Just gonna aim it properly. Boom, last one. I'm also gonna put on the little uh, the wrist thing here just to protect the scanner in case I fumble it. And then we got the backwards angle tilt. And I'm just gonna go, oh, oh, let's see, up, down, okay. And, oop, oop. So as you can see, it's very hard to mess up. It really walks you through it. All right, so now to the right. It's got a really tactile click to it as well. Like the scanner is making a snapping noise. There we go. And the other side. Oop, just a couple more. Boom. All right, now it says calculating, please wait. And we have a success. Calibration deviation of 0.011 millimeters. Go ahead and hit next, and that's it. Now I'm ready to start scanning in laser mode or infrared mode. Everything's good to go, set up, and that's really all there is to it. You can see up at the top left of the screen, it shows July 17th as the date of the calibration. Personally, I found that you really don't have to calibrate that often. I've gotten great scans with six months outdated calibration, but what I have found is if you change the lighting environment, like if I go out from here out to the shop with the bright skylight or outside into the parking lot or something, then it can really benefit from an extra calibration. But a lot of it has to do with the environment that you're scanning in and the machine itself doesn't seem to go out of spec very often at all. So you don't really have to do this much in two and a half months using this. I haven't had to do it at all. So this is the first time just for you guys, just for this video. So let me know in the comments below what questions you have, if anything. So that really is all there is to it. It's that simple. And we have a whole lineup of these at visionminer.com slash scanners. So if you're looking at purchasing a 3D scanner, we are here to help you get the right one. We're happy to hop on a live video demo. So if you're not sure which one you should get, we'll help guide you and consult you for what you're doing, what's the right scanner. And we'll even hop on a live video demo and scan whatever object you want. If you want to send us something or we can find something similar around here that matches what you're doing, we're here to make sure you're getting the right piece of equipment for your application. I don't want to just sell you a 3D scanner. We don't do that here. We help businesses get the right equipment to help you guys make more money, save time, and all of the above. We also sell high temperature 3D printers specializing in Peak, Ultim, PPSU, and other crazy thermoplastics. So if you're interested in that, hit us up. We're here to help. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next 
Yeah.